It's almost 2 o'clock in the morning, so let's get on with this. I need to revisit a situation where we got to split some data. Okay? I did a video on that. We're going to review that. And then there's something weird that happened. Somebody sent me an email and said, Oz, something weird happened. And I said, what is this weird thing that happened? Let's get into this weirdness. We need to split this stuff apart, but we got to be careful. We got to make sure that when we split this stuff apart, everything lines up like Vernon Morrow, 36 years old, Fort Lauderdale, Chris Jackson, no age, Toronto, Stacia Jackson, no age, no city cursor in the data set. And you know what I'm going to say. So you say it along with me. Data. Get data from table slash. There you go. Here's our data. Now, the first thing that I'm going to do is turn these ages into text. Here we go. All right. Text. Now we've got to set ourselves up so that we can split these things that are all locked in the same cell. This is what we got to do. We got to use text split. Add column, custom column, F names equals text dot split. Open parentheses. We want to split first names, comma, split by what? Here is part of the weirdness. Double quote, pound sign, open parentheses, LF close parentheses we got to split by the line feed now we've got a double quote close parentheses okay let's click here that list has Derek Cat Dorian Lourdes Derek Cat Dorian Lourdes good now we got to do this three more times custom column last names equals text dot split open parentheses split the last names comma double quote comma double quote pound sign open parentheses lf close parentheses double quote close parentheses okay what happened i gotta go back and fix this okay Twice more, let's do the ages. Now we've got our list. Now we have to create a table. Custom column, table dot from columns open parentheses curly bracket we want F names comma last names comma ages comma cities close the curly brackets close the parentheses okay now we got a table and doesn't that look beautiful everything is all split out there on the bottom so here's what we can do now. Start cleaning some stuff up. We don't need this list. Right click, get out of here. Right click, go. Right click, scram. Right click, beat it. And what I'm going to do right now, right click, remove other columns. And then right there, we don't want to use this as prefixes. OK, beautiful. Now I'm going to rename these columns. We got what we wanted. Close and load it. File. Close and load. Now, you ready for more weirdness? Here we go. I'm going to scroll down here. Look at this. Scroll up. Put that in. And then, data. Refresh. Something is wrong. We brought in... Ann Mason that's got no information 
And then we got that other row. Let's look at the query. Edit. Here's the data. Row 19, we got errors. We don't even see the new data. Up top, an unexpected error occurred. What's this error say? Cannot convert null to type text. Over here, same thing. All right, I have an idea what's going on. I'm going to go back here to this change type step. I'm going to click on city. Right click. Replace values. Yes, insert a step. Value to find. Null. Replace with an X. OK. And then let's do the same thing here. I like this column. Right click. Replace values. Yes, insert a step. Value to find. Null. Replace that with an X. OK. And we go down to the bottom. Look at that. We've got our data and it is all split out. But let's turn the X's back into nulls. Highlight. Replace values. X replace with null. OK. Right click. Replace values. X replace with null. OK. Close and load. All of the data is here. All split out and all of the weirdness taken care of. Now I'm going to be honest with you. I have a guess that there was no line feed for Ann Mason, but I am not sure. I did this off of instinct. Just being honest. I don't know everything, but I tell you what, I've got one hell of an instinct. <laughs>